Hey everyone, we're back. Well, we were taking a look at our views and we saw that the 95 Maxima got a lot of hits. This is a 1995 Nissan Maxima. Got a couple problems with it and we haven't done a real process video in a while like we did with the van. Now, uh, Richard's assessed the catalytic converters on this are fucked up. So, we're going to get under here. <coughs> we're going to do the easiest, cheapest test available to check to see if your cats are good or bad. Which is to take off the fuel sensors. The O2 sensors. The O2 sensors? Oxygen sensor. Okay, take off, my bad, take off the oxygen sensors. Close enough. <laughs> Close enough. And then we're going to run it and see if it still stutters. If it does... Now just to let you know, just in case you forgot from the other videos, what it's doing is the further you push the gas down, the more it bogs down. If you get up to 200 R, if you get up to 2,000 RPMs, it starts jerking all over itself for about 15 seconds until it. And what what is it? About 4,000? It just kills over. 4,000, it kills over. And I covered the exhaust. There ain't much coming out, so I'm pretty sure it's plug cats, especially with this being a 95. So yeah, we're going to get underneath and we're going to pull out the MO2 sensors. Now what that does is, <coughs> it gives you a, by the way, it ain't cold out. I'm just wearing a coat because i got to get under the car and it cushions me. Because these little beach, i got enough cushion on my fat back. That O2 hole is about yep. this big, you know, that's about how big it is. And believe it or not, that little O2 hole is enough to give the exhaust uh sorry i'm trying to get you in the right light so we don't have any uh -oh. glare that should do it's uh it's just enough to give enough of the exhaust enough airflow to bring the engine back to life and quit suffocating it so that's what we're going to do now so uh yeah let's get to busy you know that I'm losing my fucking tools i'm about to fucking fart under here any of that smell? I already farted under here. Alright, we're underneath the car. And I just blew ass. One of the O2 sensors. Here, do you want me to hold it? It's right here. <laughs> you want me to hold it for you? Give me them. And then there's one. Oh no, I'll shit myself if I do that. Right there. And we're going to pull at least one of those out and fire it up and see what it's doing. <laughs> by, by the way, real quick. Uh, <laughs> If you have a place where your driveway curves up, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wore it down a little bit. It was by an the accident. Way, by the way, your old pen's leaking. I kind of figured that. So, uh, that's what we're going to do right now. And uh, Bear's got this kit. Where's the kit at? I got the kit right here. No, not the cigarette, the kit. Hey, you want a cigarette? Sure. Where's the kit? <laughs> like, I got room down here for this. Where is it? I left it on top of the car. <laughs> That's all right. I'm getting out of here. I'm trying to the finger. <clears throat> now this is a rental tool. It costs us 25 when we get the money back when we're done. Uh, it's a socket, but it's got a split down the side for the cabling. And these are other ones that are for if they're hard to reach. And they've got the split down the side for the cable too. This one has a weird star one, but it fits a regular ratchet. And the big one has an outside thing, just in case you ain't got room to get a ratchet in. So it's kind of a nice kit. It ain't the one I normally use, but uh, Bear opted for it because he likes multiple tools. No, you told me to pick one, and I got the one closest to me on the counter. <laughs> okay, it was laziness. <laughs> well... You know, to be honest to to be honest to ourselves and our fans, I've never done this before, so I didn't know which one would work. Apparently, we should have gone for the uh, flex tool. Yeah, there's another one that comes with a handle already on it, but it's curved, so you can get in places. <coughs> it's not curved. It's a flex ratchet. No, the shaft is curved. The shaft is curved with the fucking uh, socket. Yeah, I know. But the shaft's curved so you can get an area. That's what she said. I know she did. Fucking what a whore. Anyway, go ahead. Uh fuck this fucking thing. So we're gonna we're gonna use them. We're gonna pull them off. And uh once we get them off we'll show you that. 
And once we're done with this, we're going to burn this car to the ground. And uh, Bear's going to do a burnout for us as soon as we get these fucking things out. Because I was the only one that was able to do a burnout in this car. And it was in my front yard. Yeah, and it wasn't even, very long. I don't even remember. Is this a front wheel drive? Yeah. Fuck. Anyway, I've been through this with my Honda. Piss me off. Honda! Honda! Anyway, we're going to pull these out. So, uh, yeah. Yum, so, yum. So, by the way, comment for our subscribers. One of the little questions. Which is worse, Nissan or Honda? Both, because they're not a Chevy. <laughs> no, that's a give. give. Yeah, that's recording. Yeah. Alright, everybody, welcome back. <laughs> like you were saying, it is notch. It's so that you can fit this up over the wire and get this motherfucker in there properly. So you can just flip it on over. Like I did his mom. It's gonna be kind of tough to break free at first. Just yank real hard. That's what she said. Yeah. Really? Come on, you bastard. Jerk that bitch. She's gonna bust me in my cheek. <laughs> I'm moving. <clears throat> Fucking really? <laughs> Bastard, are you on there all the way? So you don't strip it. Yeah, maybe not. Fuck, what the fuck? Yeah. Ah. Oh, I'm getting this on camera. No, I'm not on it all the way. Come on, you fucker. <laughs> this is a fail. No. I'm not on there all the way. Alright. Don't keep ratcheting it. You're going to move the ratchet. Uh, okay, we'll start this video again in a second. Right, we're going to have him do it instead. I did get the other one out already. It's hanging right here. Yeah, and as you can see, it looks like shit. And there's a titty. Oh, yeah. And side boob. Alright, I guess I'm going to break this free real quick, and then uh, we'll be back. Alright, so he did break it free and everything. We just had to hang up with the socket. Because of how tight of an area it was. Hello again, everybody. And, uh. I get if he's actually unloosing it, it should drop out here in a second. That's what she did. <laughs> and now your car's gonna sound like a lawnmower. Really? By the way, if you have dual exhaust or two of these, you need to take out both of them. Like this is a V6, so there's one on the front bank and one on the back bank, and there it is. So you need to do both of them because if you only do one, <laughs> uh, you'll still have pressure on the other one and it'll 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 still act like shit. So now we're gonna get out and we're gonna fire it up and see how it sounds. Should I push this up under there somewhere? Or just leave it. Leave it hanging. All right. So <coughs> what was section four? Hell, I don't know. It's all gonna be one video, so. We're actually we're gonna start this up for the first time since we pulled the 202 sensors. Uh, where's your tack? There it is. And we're gonna see if it starts on the first one. First year all the way down. Yeah, I know. Rubber on. Sounds all right. right. Hold on, let me get the camera down there and do that again. That's about an awesome, dude. <laughs> Rice burner from hell! Alright, we're going to take a trip around the block and we're going to see how this runs. Yeah, just be careful and make sure you don't see no cops when you get on it. Well, that fucker sounds mean. Yum, yum. Well, are you happy? Now you know what the problem is. Are you sure the tack is still going down? Man, that tack's broke, dude. Oh, is it? That bitch ain't supposed to be doing that. You must have a loose wire or something. Yeah, that tack, you redlined it uh, at least once. 
Yeah, that check was stupid. <laughs> well, I guess I'll have to get a new check. You think I ought to go digital? I don't think it's a tech problem. I think it's a wiring issue. And it may still stutter here and there because I don't know if the stuttering was contributing or I don't know if that was part of the stuttering problem. Why is your why is your driveway so much less steep than mine? I don't know. Hey, when you straight when you straight when you straighten it out, get on it. We're just gonna leave these off. Punch it, dude, for it. Still stutter a little bit. A little bit, but I, it's not, it's not stalling. Yeah, you weren't able to do that before. <laughs> no, no, no. I could push the gas probably a half inch, and the, if if I push more than a half inch, if it's above two grand, I would have to let off because it would start stuttering no matter what speed I was at. <clears throat> so we know the cats are plugged, but I'm curious on why it's still stuttering a bit. I think I got some. You could have a stuck well, it wouldn't be a st it might be a sticky valve, but I'm not quite positive. I bet it feels a hell of a lot better than what you've been used to, huh? Alright, as soon as we turn this corner guys, I'm gonna put you on the speedometer and tack. Tack's broken obviously. But we're gonna see what he can do. Ready? Yep. Is that floored? No, oh, no. Oh, that's gay. I thought you were going to floor it. I wanted to see what it do floored. Once it kicked in, it was good to go. Alright, so we still got some stutter. I'm still on the VTEC off of your Honda. Alright, we'll be back in a minute. Alright, so starting this up, driving it down a quick trip, we find that it's got a lot more get up and go, so the catalytic converter definitely has a contribution to my stuttering. And uh, it was definitely plugged because he can redline it without a problem now. It only jerks every once in a while and we're not sure what that is yet. Yeah, he's got an odd stutter going on, and we're not positive. I'm going to check all the sensors, and if we find it, find something, I'll update you on it. Uh, other than that, yeah, it was a successful test, I think. I think it was a pretty successful test. Uh, the next videos we're going to do aren't going to be today. They'll probably be soon, whereby we get under here, unmount the exhaust, and knock out the cats. And I have a truck video that I'll be uploading tomorrow of me fixing a uh, Ford. Did you tape that? Y'all are going to be kind of disappointed though because the ending was... Uh, well? No, nah, the camera went dead. Mm. And I had to get it finished. But at the end of the video I'll leave some text or I'll do a short spot letting you know what exactly all I did to finish it. But you get you get to see quite a bit in the video, so. Is there anything uh, to say? I like this car, but it's starting to piss me off. It needs washed. <laughs> so have fun, people. That's what she said.